Last January, we announced our first campaign on the channel. And in the years since, we've received tons of questions from you guys out there. What happened to the campaign? Did it fizzle out? Did we stop it? Greg, I think it's time to let everyone know what happened to the Pyrrhic campaign. Sure, it's already over. We played the entire campaign. Over the course of five turns, with each turn representing a year, we refought the war using an epic custom-made theater map. Movements on this map resulted in quite a few battles, ranging from pitch field engagements to stunning sieges. If you're a supporter of Little Wars TV on Patreon, then you received turn-by-turn -turn updates as the campaign was happening, which means that you already know who won. Yes, our Patreon supporters acted as the Roman Senate, electing a new consul for every year. And in fact, both Greg and I served as consuls. We did, although uh, our consulships had rather different results, didn't they? Yeah, I wasn't going to mention that. Our patrons may know how this five-turn campaign ended, but they haven't actually seen a video report of any war game, and we have hours of material filmed from the last year of playing. Now, just as we promised a year ago, you are going to get to see the entire saga on YouTube for free, presented as a multi-part series. Right now, as you're watching this update, we are in the middle of editing that mountain of campaign footage into something truly special. Thanks to the support we receive on Patreon from our amazing fans, we've been able to invest real dollars into elevating this project into what we hope could be the best series of linked war games you've ever seen on YouTube. Yeah, that's no joke. We have licensed professional music, we've hired an artist to create original illustrations just for this series. And to really knock this project out of the park, we recorded interviews with professional historians around the world. Here's a look at what we have coming. When someone says the name Pyrrhus of Epirus, um, the first things I associate with him are impetuosity, adventurism, and violence. Yeah, when you hear the name Pyrrhus, I think charismatic, spectacular, and ultimately futile. In some ways, Pyrrhus really accomplishes nothing. I mean, he fights a bunch of battles, he kills a bunch of people, uh, gets a bunch of his own people killed, and then gets himself killed. There is something romantic about the, the commander who is incredibly gifted but loses. And that is a good story because it sort of, it, it has that element of, of tragedy in it. He is box office material. And from the ancient perspective, the other successors aren't really. They don't fight as many battles as Pyrrhus and none of them quite match up to Alexander. Um, whereas Pyrrhus almost does. All right, if that teaser doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. It has been a long wait, but I promise you the wait will be worth it. Absolutely, and we are targeting this summer as the premiere for the Pyrrhic War campaign. Subscribe to Little Wars TV and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. This summer, we're bringing the epic war between Rome and Pyrrhus to YouTube.